Hello everyone, this is Richard from Modern Healthy Hong Kong. In this short video, we're going to talk about why we started taking 2.5 grams of TMG every day. First, a disclaimer. In this video, we're just sharing our anti-aging journey and the supplements that we are using. It is not medical advice. When we first took NMN and resveratrol last year, we started from a low dose of 150 milligrams. Now we're taking one gram of both, and we also take one gram of TMG to avoid depletion of our methyl groups. But recently we started taking 2.5 grams of TMG, although we did not change the dose of NMN or resveratrol. First, let me briefly explain what TMG is and why we need to take it with NMN. TMG stands for trimethylglycine which signifies that it has three methyl groups attached to a molecule of the amino acid glycine. TMG is also more commonly known as betaine. In the body, TMG acts as a methyl donor in the process to form SAMe, S-adenosylmethionine. You can see on the left of the screen that the enzyme BHMT uses betaine to convert homocysteine into methionine. In this process, betaine is acting as a methyl donor and gives up one of its methyl groups. Here is another diagram showing the same cycle, but in this case vitamin B12 provides an alternative pathway for the conversion of homocysteine to methionine, as shown in the top arrow. Here HCY is short for homocysteine. For people like my wife, whose genes already show that she has a higher need for B12, as you can see here in her DNA report, and who are taking NMN, it is doubly important that she has sufficient methyl groups in her pool. One final note that betaine, or it may be called betaine anhydrous, is not to be confused with betaine HCl, betaine hydrochloride. This is a supplement that helps strengthen the acid in your stomach and does not act in the same way as betaine. So why do we need methyl donors if you're taking NMN? The processing of nicotinamide in the body requires a methyl group, as shown in this diagram. Nicotinamide, here represented as NAM, from the diet, is processed and excreted, taking up one methyl group. This happens to some of the nicotinamide that you take. Dr. Sinclair talked about this in a number of podcasts, for example in an interview with Dr. Joseph McCola. He said, As a precaution, I take trimethylglycine so that I continue to give my body a source of methyl groups. I don't see any downside. It's not an expensive molecule. The upside is that I'm preventing my body from being drained of methyl groups. Based on this, we started taking TMG as well. As we have increased our NMN dosage, we've increased our TMG to match. If you're currently taking NMN or thinking about starting, consider pairing it with TMG as an added support for methylation. Other methyl donors that may be useful include methylated B6, B12 and folate. So that was why we started with TMG in the first place. However, in our investigations, we found that TMG has a number of other benefits. Here are some that we think are interesting and are why we decided to take a larger dose. If we have another look at this diagram, we see that in its role as a methyl donor, TMG is part of the methionine cycle, where it is one of the paths by which homocysteine can be methylated to methionine. This is two benefits. One is that it then goes on to create SAMe, SAMI is the universal methylation donor and is used throughout the body to supply methyl groups. SAMI is also known as a mood enhancer and is used in treatment of depression, schizophrenia, liver disease and other conditions. The other is that it reduces the level of homocysteine in the blood. As you can see here, high homocysteine levels in the blood is a risk for cardiovascular disease and the study showed that TMG was effective at lowering these levels. A second benefit is for liver health. Human studies of TMG suggest that it may help with fat metabolism in the liver and protect against fatty liver caused by alcohol abuse, obesity, diabetes and other issues. Since my wife and I enjoy our happy hours, I am particularly glad that it helps with alcohol metabolism in the liver. In one trial, it was shown to reduce AST and ALT concentrations and in another to raise HDL cholesterol levels. The next benefit is to exercise performance. While human studies have just started, initial results do show that TMG can enhance performance and results in resistance training and high interval training. 
Here is one study looking at the effects of TMG in resistance training. We can see in the discussion section that the authors said two weeks of betaine ingestion can significantly improve muscle endurance in lower body workout. And another that looked at performance and body composition again in resistance training and concluded six weeks of betaine supplementation improved body composition, arm size, bench press work capacity attenuated the rise in urinary homocysteine and tended to improve power but not strength. My wife's DNA report shows that it is difficult for her to build muscle as we can see in her strength profile on this page. Therefore she is looking for all the help she can get when going down the gym. Due to its bipolar nature, TMG helps maintain correct osmotic pressure in cells. In humans, TMG maintains normal cellular electrolyte concentrations despite water and electrolyte losses during exercise. As mentioned in this report, Betaine protects cells, proteins and enzymes from environmental stress such as low water, high salinity or extreme temperatures. These are not all of the potential benefits of TMG but it is the main ones that we thought would be of interest to you. Let's look at when to take it and what dosage. According to Dr. Amon, try to take TMG between meals. Better at least two hours after eating, otherwise components of the meal you've recently consumed can compete with it for absorption into the bloodstream. Most of the trials looked at doses around 2.5 grams, taken as 1.25 grams twice daily. Some had doses of 6 grams or more. TMG is very safe to take. Research has shown that even high doses like 12 grams have no side effects. For us, we take it as 1.5 gram in the morning and 1 gram in mid-afternoon for a total of 2.5 grams daily. So in summary, we see that in addition to supporting the metabolism of NMN, TMG provides a number of other benefits while being safe and inexpensive. 2.5 grams for the supplier that we use is 56 cents a day. We have also switched to Life Extension TMG powder as we found it easier to take than the pills which are quite large. We hope that you found this video informative. If you do like the video please do hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button for notifications of new video releases. It encourages us to continue to create more videos about anti-aging and extending healthy lifespan. Thank you so much for your kind support. I wish you well and I will speak to you all soon.